Hi, I'm Tim Hansen here with GT Throne. Uh, thank you for purchasing a chair. Uh, by now, you should have your chair completely assembled and we're gonna be taking you through the electronics section. All right, let's go over the parts you need. Your audio and microphone cables, your USB power cord, your trip wire, your main power cord, the GT Throne processor, and the GT Throne receiver. By now, you should have already installed the receiver to the chair. Take your lower back actuator and plug it into the jack opposite the knob. Take your seat actuator and plug it into the jack second from the top. Take your second seat actuator and plug it into the very top jack. Use the bands to tuck in any excess slack. Take your power cord and plug it into your trip wire. Plug the trip wire into the GT Throne receiver for safety around the chair. On the back of your PC, plug the audio cable into the audio port. Plug the microphone cable into the mic port. Take the USB power cable and plug it into a USB port. Take the corresponding audio, mic, and USB cables and plug them into the GT Throne processor. Your speaker or headphones can now plug into the front of the GT Throne processor in their corresponding ports. To sync the chair with the computer, press the sync button on the receiver first, then the processor button second. The knob on the GT Throne receiver controls the vibration intensity, and the knob on the processor controls the audio volume through your speakers or headphones. I hope this was helpful. If you need any more information, please log on to gtthrone.com. Uh, we have a bunch of other information, manuals, and if you want to leave us a question, we will get back to you with an answer. Thank you again for purchasing the chair. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and game on.